What is up guys and welcome back to another great episode of Browned! And today we are going to be playing some more of the Dream Machine. We are in fact on chapter 3, so I think we just play a game. Yes, and then we're on chapter 3 and this one does rely in... What's her name? I forget. I thought I want to say Anna, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. But it's going to take place inside of a no our wife's dream actually. But alright, here we go. A boat beneath the sunny sky, lingering, and onwardly dreamingly as an event of July. Ha er, ever dr oh, I'm so sorry guys, my bad, my bad. The Sleeping Machine presents the same game we played last time. <laughs> and here we are inside of, I'm sure he'll tell us what her name is, I know I should not forget, but it's been, a, it's been about a week since we played this last, so. Let's see what's going on here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another glorious evening aboard the SS Albatross. Ooh, sounds enjoyable. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying your cruise so far. In a moment, we'll start serving the evening meal in the dining hall. On behalf of the crew abroad, we wish you a continued pleasant journey. Look at the background of this place. It's like the future or something. I see a bunch of flying cars or something there. But uh, this must be a leisure cruise. Alicia, that's her name. Okay, Alicia talked about during uh, breakfast. And it was a pretty damn weird dream. I remember... Fuck, man, I, re I forgot everybody's names. <laughs> My bad. Oh, Horton, yeah, he kind of birthed out of her and it was it was a weird tale. Go watch the first episode if you haven't seen the rest. Looks like she's having the same dream again. I need to find the, or the machine's root and cut it out, or cut it out of the dream. I better find Alicia as well. She might be able to help me. All right, so let's go look for Alicia. Let's see what the hell's gonna go on down here. All right, so there's a bar we can go to. That's kind of, that's kind of interesting, isn't it, guys? We can get a little bit of a tipsy before we get any farther in this. Goddamn, that noise is a little loud, but we got a bartender here. And um, hello, who are you? Uh, have you seen a pregnant woman abroad? As your superior, I'm asking the questions here, cadet. Why, why don't you have a badge? Who are you? My badge? We're not a cadet, we're just a simple husband. <laughs> my name is Jeff, or er, Victor Neff. Uh, my name is Victor Neff, what? Um, sir? Bar bartender? Yeah, we'll do that one. Uh, attending bar is only my current assignment. When you are to address me, you may call me sir, is that understood? Um, I know they look exactly the same, which is weird, and we kind of didn't address that. <laughs> but, uh, I feel he should have a different voice, right? Uh, yes, sir. Um, that wasn't so hard, was it? Uh, now, Cadet Neff, why don't you have a badge? A badge? Uh, no number, Cadet. Where's your number? I don't have one. Uh, they... Then how, how do I know what to call you? Why don't you just call me Victor? Because my name is also Victor. That's a strange coincidence, don't you? Or don't you think? It's a pretty common name. Uh, in fact, every crew member on the ship is named Victor. Alright, so his wife's having a dream about... Running a cruise ship with all the staff as her husband? I... Sounds like a control problem or something. <laughs> That's why we use badges. Uh, the fact that you don't know this makes me suspicious. Are you a rebel instrument? Uh, a what? Are you, are you a rebel, son? Or a spy? You smell like a spy. I'm not a rebel. I'm not a spy. I'm neither. Alright, don't lie to me, sailor. I'm why bo er, I'll waterboard you six ways to Sunday. You better fucking not. I will die, or I will be furious. <laughs> One of the two. But uh, I promise I'm not lying. Uh, cross your heart and hope to die. What? It's a simple question. Uh, do you cross your heart and hope to die? What kind of interrogation is this? I'm sorry, mate. It's, I'm just messing with you. Uh, I knew you were coming and thought I'd give you a little hazing. Don't you fucking haze me! That is illegal now! <laughs> you know er, you know to say welcome abroad. Sorry if I scared you. Oh. Uh, you had me worried there for a second. I'm Victor Five, by the way. We're sharing cabins, so you and I will be seeing a lot of each other. Uh, I was told to send you up to the captain's aid once you get there, or once you get here. Hey, er, he greets all the new ch er, crew members, so you would probably er, want to go see him. Uh, take all, take all day though. He loves to wait. Or was there anything else? Um, uh, can we ask him about Alicia? This must be a mistake. I didn't sign up for this. Have you seen my wife? You have a civilian wife abroad? What's your name? Maybe I can page her. Her name is Alicia Neff. That's not funny, cadet. Why? Is anything wrong with her? Uh, I wouldn't even joke about that if I were you, but I need to see her. 
Uh, direct contact with the captain is for the members of the command uh, uh, staff only. And you're not part of the command staff unless you've been promoted at record speed. Alicia's the captain abroad? The captain's ne- or er, Captain Neff to you, cadet. Nobody calls her Alicia and lives to brag about it. On second thought, scratch that. Call her Alicia. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. What an asshole, he's trying to set us up for failure already, I mean... What kind of man is that where he wants to just screw us over the first day of work, you know? It's just, it's messed up. Hey. Okay. Uh, where am I? Let's, let's just go. Where do I find, yeah, we'll better figure that out. Uh, he usually, he's usually by the bridge on deck three. Can't miss him. Also, the captain's aide enjoys the sense of camaraderie among the ship. So try to high-five him any chance you get. He loves that. I feel like you're still setting me up, dude. Like... Are you messing me up? Are you trying to mess me up? <laughs> See you a bit later then. Alright, so let's go to deck two. I believe we just have to go all the way up to the top of the ship to get to him. Because I have played a little bit of this, but I did get stuck. The last time I actually sat down and played this was when I first got my PC. But, um, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty good game so far. But here is, I think this is the right guy, right? Maybe? Maybe? Welcome abroad, cadet. I'm Victor Three, Captain Alicia's aide. I'm essentially a right hand abroad this ship. Your orders from the bridge will come through me. The captain has a full plate and doesn't have time to micro or micromanage individual cadets. You got that? Um, I have something, uh, yes sir! First of all, we need to designate you to a call sign so people know what to call you. How does Victor Six strike you? Sounds fine, I guess. Good. You get, you think they come up with some better names besides their same name with a number after it. <laughs> Seems a little bit odd. <laughs> Here's your badge. Alright, nice. Alright, from now on, if you if you hear Victor 6 over the PA system, that means you. I haven't heard anything about your assignment yet, but why don't you just acqu or get acquainted with the boat and the crew for now? They might need assistance, so that'll be a good opportunity to make yourself useful. You think you can handle that, the cadet? Uh, yes, sir! Good. Uh, oh, and before I forget, here's the key to cabin one. That's where you bunk from now on. All right, the lower bunk should be available. Make yourself at home. Is there anything else? Um, where where are the other crew members? They're all over the boat, man. We already know that. How many crew members are there? I'd like to see c the captain, please. Yes, direct co contact with the captain is for members only of the command staff only and that's why you're way above your rank so in order to see the captain I need to get promoted uh, not only that you need to be promoted to a, com or a command position and you'll only get promised if you impress her consistently which is a tall order the command staff are considered the elite abroad if you hear a voice over the PA system it's one of them to you that's the voice of God <laughs> are you a member of the command staff no not yet, but according to our latest crew evaluation, I'm next in line for the pro or for the promotion. All right, so guys, we are gonna steal that fucking promotion for him so we can see our wife. Cut this cord and save it from the damn dream machine. All right, where's my cabin located? How can I see the rest of the ship? I think that's all for now. Come see me again once you're settled in. I might have received an assignment from com by a uh, command by then. If you manage to impress them, there might be another assignment after that. Alright, so let's go help everybody now. Sounds like Alicia is hard to please, which uh, that that's always difficult. <laughs> well, Alright, so let's go to our cabin in cabin one. The door is locked. Oh yeah, I gotta use my key. Come on, bro. Do that. Yeah, buddy. You got it. Alright, now we can walk in here. And maybe we'll see our bunk mate? I mean, oh wait, no, he's the bartender, so we shouldn't. Alright, home sweet home. Can we do with this? It's a standard issue radio receiver. Probably used to listening to music during the off hours. What about our locker? Do we got anything in there? It contains standard issue clothes and uniforms. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Okay. Look through the port. No, I don't want to. God damn it. <laughs> That's not even the outside, man. That is a really, really dirty window. All right. Open the door. Let's go out. We need to help everybody somehow. Open it, man. What? What are you doing? Open the open the damn door. There you go. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Having a little bit of technical difficulties with this. Seems like the, maybe the pathing for this game is just a, a tad bit off. But mm, there should be guy. Yes, right here. And I believe this guy's kind of like the 
the mess around asshole. <laughs> I'm guessing you're the new guy, eh? Nice to meet you. I'm Victor Seven. I'm the ship's head servant. The captain's aide told me to help you out. Is there anything I can do? Sure thing. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but there's a bit of a rat infestation abroad. I just saw one scuttle into the hole by the door over there. If you want, you could help me eradicate them. Sure, what do I need to do? Um, as far as I can tell, they build their nests in their walls. You need to locate all the nests and bait them with poison. Um, how many nests are there? I've seen about three so far. Sound good? Of course it's fucking three, because three is the magic number. <laughs> Sound good? Um, consider it done. Sure, why not? Great! Uh, here's the rat poison. Thank you, sir. There's only a little bit left, but I think it'll be enough to bait the nests. Don't handle that stuff lightly, mind you. Uh, the poison is potent enough to kill a full-grown man. You get to keep the box as your reward. Gee! Um, where can I find the nest? Tell me more about you. Sure, we'll do that one. Uh, yourself, sure. I haven't gone to any fancy schools or, or read any books with long titles like the command or commanding officer on the bridge does, but it just happens to be good with my hands. But I've got something the rest of this dead crew doesn't. Oh yeah, what's that? Ambition, my friend. I'm, de or I'm destined for greatness. Can't you feel it? One day the captain will catch a glimpse of my tan ripped body and decide that I'm the one. I'm sure even though we all look exactly the goddamn same, they don't make any sense, Victor 7. You crazy asshole. And what the hell happened to Victor 6? I should be like Victor 8 or something, shouldn't I? You think? Alright, the one? The one what? The love of her life, you dope. Um, did you know she never married during the Great War? She always chose duty before personal pleasure. That shows character. But the war is over now, and, and deep down I know she longs to settle down. Well, yeah, she's already settled down with me, man. He's trying to he's trying to steal my wife here, guys. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. I gotta punch him or something. That's where I, with my good looks and charm, have the edge. Um, the rest of the clue, crew. No. Okay, let's go. Let's go get all these little rat nests fixed. And poison with the rat hole. Boom, son. That's how we do it. It looks like a rat hole. Well, of course, damn it. I didn't mean to click here. Just put the poison in there. All right, and I think I already know maybe where the majority of these are. But I could be wrong. I believe there is one in here. It's either that or it's in the cabin number two. I could be totally mistaken, though. <laughs> All right, little masshole. I see you. I see you right there. Okay, we're going to take this and we will drop it right on the thing and if you guys would like to see where my mouse is going I haven't really thought about that but um let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that so you can actually see the stuff that I'm pointing on because I tend to actually talk about what I'm pointing at <laughs> but I guess that leads you to know what I'm pointing at at the same time I'm just saying if you would like to see the mouse in games like this point and clicks and whatnot let me know because I usually just shut it off for all games well just for the big games with the controllers and whatnot but yeah, 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 you, you just let me know. Bro, will fix it. <laughs> and bam, there's the third rat hole. We already got them all. Nice. We are we are just helpful as all hell, aren't we? All right, that was the last of them. Um, which is just the well since I'm out of poison. All right, so go to uh, deck two landing. And, um, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the only other person I could really see us needing the help is the bartender. But I'm sure there's another one. It's always three. It is always three. Remember that. It's either three or five. <laughs> you should know better than to walk around without your badge on. It was practically the first thing I said to you. Uh, fuck. Man, be, be nice to me. Alright, um, where right side up? Whereas number nine, we'll do that one. Maybe they'll think we're a better rank that we are. Uh, Victor nine, what can I? Oh, Victor six, I see you've mistakenly put your badge on upside down. There, let me correct that for you. You're lucky I noticed that. How the hell does he even know that I'm different? We're all the same, goddammit. <laughs> the captain's very strict on dress code. Alright, so now we can talk to him. The captain Zay told me to help you out. Is there anything I can do? Not really. You uh, you can't just start mixing drinks, you know. Attending a bar requires skill and years of training. It's a huge responsibility requiring secret arcane knowledge passed on from tender, from tender to tender. Yeah, so if any of you are trying to be a bartender, which I know one of you is, you 
go hang out with a bartender. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so uh, it's a huge responsibility requiring secret art. Oh, shit, we already read that. Okay, dot, dot, dot. How do I learn the arcane knowledge? Uh, the book is a good place to start. Oh, thank you, buddy. Alright, so we got this book. And then we'll take that, the ultimate drink book. A comprehensive guide to cocktails from around the world. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, a drink book. Uh, knowing the recipe is only half the job. You could train a monkey to follow the recipe, but that would make him a bartender. The tricky part is doing it with some finesse. Prove to me that you're not a monkey, and I'll tell you the captain's aid that you helped me. How do I do that? Mix a decent martini. You'll find everything you need around the bar. If you mess it up, you can just rinse the shaker in the sink and start again. Oh, maybe that's part I got stuck on the last time as I was never actually rinsing the thing out. But alright, so let us examine the book and let's find the martini. I love the book pages in this so much. I mean, it just looks so damn cool. <laughs> alright, so we do need a martini though. Gin sling! Damn, I wonder if any of these are like, are these real recipes? I could play this game every time I wanted to learn some kind of new drink. Alright, there's the martini. Three parts gin, three parts vermouth, one part lemon juice. Alright, three, six, one. I got this. I got this. Alright, so we need to pick up the shaker. Then we got that. And then we got all this. What is this? Pick up gin. Oh, damn. Alright, so we got everything basically right where we need it. Come on, Victor Neff. You, you can do it. Pick the stuff up. Yeah, pick it up. I believe in you. There you go, buddy. Alright, so where is the vermouth? There's the vermouth. Right there. Pick it up. And then we got the gin. I think there's a few other drinks that we can grab as well, but I'm not quite sure. Pick up the damn gin, man! Pick it up! Why? Why do you hassle me around like this? <laughs> I don't know, like, if the game's freezing or what the hell's going on. Oh, what is this? Oh, Worcester sauce. Mmm, what? Is that really going drinks? That does not seem like it'd be a very good drink mixer. <laughs> Alright, so three parts gin and six parts vermouth. We got this. Alright, one part gin. I poured some gin into the shaker. I poured some gin. Oh, wait, but what? What? We need three parts, though. Alright, then this. Maybe we just gotta put... Oh, fuck. I did the wrong one. Alright, use the sh er, shaker with the sink. We messed it up. I accidentally poured Worcester sauce into our martini. Which would, in real life, be fucking disgusting. <laughs> Alright, then... And ba bam I've squeezed lemon juice. And then what? The shaker contains gin? Oh, damn it. Why are you not cleaning? You shake her with the sink. Oh, turn on the water. Okay. Why does this game have such a problem? With him clicking stuff when you're by it. It's just so inconvenient! Click it! Ugh! Finally! Fucking turns it on. Alright, now we got it. Now, use this with the sink. Alright, I've emptied and rinsed the shaker. Perfect. Now we can shut the water off. Oh, he does it the first time that time. That's awesome. That makes me real happy. <laughs> Boom. Boom! We got a Cess Martini. I've squeezed some lemon juice into the shaker. Lol! And behold, I've created a martini. Voila. Oh, <laughs> significo. Okay, now let's go over here, talk to the bartender. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. Yeah, we can. We can just talk to him, right? Or do I have to show him martini? How's the martini coming along? Oh, uh, tell me more about you. Goodbye. Yes, we must just have to put it on the table then. Click the martini and use the bartender. There we go. Let's taste, shall we? It could use some finesse, but that's a pretty good martini. You can't put finesse in a drink, alright? Finesse is is like how well you're doing something. It's not an ingredient. <laughs> well done! I'll tell the captain's aide that you helped me out. Thanks! Well, you're welcome. Okay, is there anything else we can do? Um, do you have anything for me to do? Not right now, but check with the other crew members. They might have tasks for you to do. Okay, then let's get out of here. Alright, so now I believe we can actually go talk to the captain's aide again, because we've done all the tasks and chores. Oh, wait, no, I believe we still have one more. I remember being a guy somewhere over here, kind of towards the dock area. Walk faster, Victor! You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now click this, and head into the door. <laughs> okay, so what do we got in here? I believe, yeah, it's the lazy sleeping guy. 
Can we grab any of these? Examine the dishes. Uh, piles of dirty dishes. All right, I'm, I think we just had to pick those up, put them down in the dishwasher. Whoa, who, who, who are you? Um, I'm the crew member, apparently. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I didn't think you were due until tomorrow. Guess I was early. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. I'm Victor Ford, uh, the chief of bureaucracy. Are you getting used to the life on board? Uh, it still feels very unfamiliar. Don't worry about it. Once you have an assignment, you'll get used to it. About that. Uh, the captain's aide told me to make myself useful to help you guys out. Is there anything you need? Uh, if you want, you can clean the desk over there. I do, I do it myself, but I'm on my break. Um, sure, I can do that. Uh, thanks! It needs to be sent to the kitchen. How do I get to the kitchen? You don't. Just use the dumbwaiter in the bar. Alright, um, now we can just kind of leave. See you later then, let's pick this up, go send it off, and then we can go talk to the captain's aide. Finally get ourselves ahead in this. I'm trying to just get to Alicia already, because I don't know what else these guys have for me, but I want to see what the hell is going on with Alicia. She's in danger, man. We gotta save her. We have to. Alright, so go to the bar. Come on, you can you can walk a little bit faster than that, Victor. You, you can walk a little bit faster. Come on, buddy. Being a little bit slow there. All right, now, bartender. No, we need to use the dishes with the dumbwaiter. I don't know why I put on a French accent for that one, but I did. All right, I better open it first. Um, can't you just fucking... Can't you just open? Can't you? Why not? Why not? All right, there it is. Here it comes. Bam! Dumbwaiter. Ooh, we got ourselves a little bowl. I'm sure we're gonna need that later. All right, now put these in there, and ba bam! All right, I need to move so I can actually see the controls. Uh, operate. Send to the kitchen. The restaurant. We'll send it to the kitchen, and that is the right place. All right, now finally we can hopefully go talk to the captain's aide. All right, somebody is making an announcement. Uh, Victor 6, report to the captain's aid. I repeat, Victor 6, report to the captain's aid. Alright, so yeah, we do have to go talk to him finally. And now, I'm, well, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but... Alright, so we're just gonna talk to him because I'll, I'll spoil something. <laughs> there you are. Um, uh, hey, has my assignment arrived yet? Yeah, I just received your briefing and it's, and it's a doozy. There might even be a big promotion in it if you do, if you don't, if you do this right. As you might have heard, one of our crew members went AWOL recently. I didn't know that, sir. It's unfortunate, but something, or er, something has happened. According to the initial reports, he was seen drinking late last night, but the captain suspects somebody might be with withholding information. Um, why does she suspect that? Because the initial report contradicted each other. Uh, some say they saw him drinking, some say he never touched a drop. It doesn't add up. Well, damn, man! It's a fucking- that is a doozy! <laughs> who, is the, who is in the missing crew? His call sign is Victor 11. He worked as a sun deck steward. He always seemed very reliable to me, but I haven't- oh shit. But I haven't, uh, seen anything good about him. Is it, I'm, I'm just gonna guess that's what he said. My bad. <laughs> Alright, has this happened before? It's pretty rare, but yeah, these things happen now and then. Uh, you sound pretty unconcerned. The way I see it, he's probably passed out drunk somewhere below deck. That's usually the case when people miss a shift. I think he'll turn up sooner or later making excuses. Protocol states we have to inform his next of kin 24 hours, 24 hours after the disappearance. The hour is approaching quickly, and Captain wants to be able to tell or tell them something more substantial than, sorry, we seem to have misplaced your son. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, she wants to investigate this disappearance, talk to his fellow crew members, and find out what they know. Where was he last? Did he talk to anybody about leaving? Is he hiding from something? That sort of thing. All right, um, what does Sunday Steward do exactly? Why is Captain giving me this assignment? Sure. Since you arrived today, you're the most impartial crew member abroad. You don't know any of the crew, and you have no reason to lie. That puts you in a unique position to actually find out what happened. Um, could foul play be behind the disappearance? I guess all options have to be considered until we found evidence to rule them out. Alright, what does Sun Deck Observer actually do? He basically takes care of the passengers who are sunbathing. I can be, it can be anything from applying sunscreen to managing deck chair reservations. Where do I begin? Talk to the other crew members. Examine the Sun Deck where he used to work. Check, er, check his quarters. Maybe he left something behind. Um... Who knew him best? Yeah, we'll do that one. I can't say I'm the one to talk about this. He shared captains with Victor Seven, the head servant. He ought to know him pretty well. 
All right, I won't let you down, Captain, sir. Uh, with this assignment, you've been promoted to the rank of assistant's fourth class. Per er, perform your duty admirably, and there might be another promotion down the line. Come back to me and find anything or, anything or may need to be help. I might be able to nudge you in the right direction. And how is that? All right, so let's go to landing deck two. Well, let's just go talk to Victor Seven for Well, no. Because I, I have a strong feeling that it actually was Victor Seven, kind of. He just seems like the kind of asshole, like I said before, that might do that. So, where are we going to go? I guess, fine, we'll go, we'll go talk, damn it, no, we're going to go to the bartender, god damn it. Alright, talk to the bartender. Let's see what he has to tell us, guys. I'm investigating the disappearance of Victor Eleven. You mind if I ask you a few questions? So the captain's made her you her little snitch, has she? What? No! Of course not! <laughs> I'm not a snitch. I'm just kidding, sport. Ask ask away. Um, tell, tell me about Victor Eleven. How well did you know him? Well enough. We weren't, uh, balls and buddies or anything, but we got along fine. We had occasional turf disputes when a guest from the sun deck caused problems at the bar and vice versa. Nothing serious. Uh, he drank a lot? He came here for the occasional shot every now and then, but, uh, if he had a rough shift. Uh, I never saw him flat out drunk, though. He drank on duty? That's commonplace abroad a cruise ship. What else is there to do? Go dancing? Stay here long enough and you'll start doing it as well. Uh, won't be, won't passengers smell it on you? That's why we invented breath mint. Uh, the most, er, most of them are way more sauce than we are anyway. Well, I, I guess that makes for a fun day, why not? <laughs> I kinda wanna go work on a cruise ship then. Did he have your, did he have any other problems that I should know about? You mean substance abuse? That's pretty rare among the servant staff. Uh, they test us, you see. Um, the guys down in engineering though. They're always high in something. And who can blame them, right? I, I guess. <laughs> Maybe they're fun people. Maybe they got great stories or something. Did Victor Eleven want... Um, I... Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> he fought hard to be promoted to the Sun Deck service. Competition for top deck position was fierce. There's no way he'd throw that away. Alright, then let's go back. Tell me about the circumstances of the disappearing. When was the last time you saw him? He came to the bar late last night. Stood, uh, stood just about where you're standing now. Had a few drinks to unwind after his shift. Did he talk to anybody at the bar? Uh, he said hi to some passengers, but aside from that, he was alone. It seemed like he was waiting for somebody. Who? Don't know. Nobody showed up. Uh, did he drink enough to become impaled in any way? Could he have fallen off or fallen overboard? Uh, that sounds unlikely to me. He walked straight as an arrow when he left. Uh, when was that? At about 11 or 12. Uh, was there anything that seemed strange about him last night? Not that I recall. He just stood there doodling away at a napkin. What did he draw? Something that might be related to what you're looking for. Uh, you, you can have it, but first there's something I need you to help me with. What now? Ever since I came abroad, the captain's, uh, the captain's been asked me to make her a Bloody Mary. But because of the rational, uh, rationing, some ingredients are highly, or uh, high impossible to get a hold of. What do you mean, or what do you need me to do? Make me a Bloody Mary, and I'll give you the napkin. Alright, sounds fair, I guess. Why is this drink so important? Um, I don't have time to make drinks, sure, why not? Thanks! This really means a lot to me! Uh, tell me about the crew particularly. Um, the Busby, Victor Four, uh, the head servant. No, we don't. We don't need to learn about stuff right now. Uh, I can't seem to find the Bloody Mary ingredients. Uh, what are you having problems locating? Tomato juice. That's a tricky one. Tomatoes are quite scarce since the rationing. Um, and without the drinks, just not bloody. The kitchen might still have a few if you're lucky. I didn't. I didn't think of that. Thanks. I actually write about that because I knew I'd get stuck at this part because this is where I got stuck the last time I actually played this game all by myself. And I know what it is. I just gotta find the next thing that I need though. Alright, um, hot sauce? That's a tricky one. If you don't put hot sauce in a Bloody Mary, most customers will send it back complaining it's too mild. There's no substitute for that kind of heat. Alright, uh, go back. That's all. See you later. Alright, so let's go to the PA system. And I believe we have to call the kitchen, and we have to get something from them. I know we do. Alright, so there's the you, uh, the intercom. Come on, come on. <laughs> we got this. Alright, um, call kitchen. Yes, call the kitchen. Kitchen here. Um, who am I talking to? Hello, I'm calling from. I'm trying to locate Victor Eleven. Have you seen him down there? Do you have tomatoes down there? Uh, hello, I'm calling from. 
The restaurant, sure, why not? Gee, what now? How's it going? We received a complaint. Um, how's it going? Uh, you want to know how it's going? It's the middle of servicing! You know the kitchen service over 400 people a pop, right? That's a pretty stressful prospect. While I'm wasting time talking to you, the food's getting cold. That's how it's going! Right. Oh, my, my bad, okay. Uh, we've received a complaint. Oh boy, what's the problem? A customer said the soup was too... Too mild, yeah. Is there something you can do about that? Sure, that's easy. I'll put something into the dumbwaiter right away. Thanks. Okay, so we got our hot sauce now. So let's go down and grab that. I know we need something else, though. I just gotta think of how we get it or where it's going to be is the big problem. I'm sure we'll find it, though. But, yeah, let's quick call the dumbwaiter and get all the stuff that we actually need to get. So take this... And ba bam! Hopefully we got it before the kitchen did. Ba bam! Hot sauce. All right, so we got the hot sauce, and then we should probably all right put that back up there. Turn the water on. Bloop, bloop. Okay, I put this here. Come on, Victor. This needs to be washed, buddy. There you go. No, still no. Okay, your shaker will sink. Uh, the shaker is already clean. What do you mean we never cleaned it before? All right, so turn off this water. And come on, come on, buddy. Turn off the damn water. All right, come on. There you go. All right, so we better go quick. Go see what the ingredients for Bloody Mary even is, because I myself am not entirely sure. <laughs> I want to say it's gonna be. Keep going here. Uh, the Tom Collins. Uh, I don't know what all these are. White Russian. Are these? Are we still going? No, these are empty pages. Okay, so why all the empty pages then? That don't quite make sense to me. But it's all right, right? Oh, damn it. You damn page. You Man, this game is really being laggy. It seems like ever since the last update came out it has been. I don't I don't like that. Come on. Oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me. All right. No. Flip to the other side. There you go. There's the bloody mary though. All right. Uh one part French vermouth, uh seven parts gin, tomato juice, hot sauce, lemon juice. Worcester sauce. So all that we need, um, we better put this stuff in first before we forget. Uh, French vermouth. This is it, right? Okay, put that in there. Then the gin. Then the hot sauce. Um. And the Worcester sauce. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. What about this? You shake her with myself. I know, uh, I gotta say it. So, oh, wait, can I do this? He's badge with yourself. Um, where? Number six, number nine. Why are we doing that? No. Okay, can't we do anything else with it, though? I keep pressing that. That is not what I want to do. It is not what I want to do. All right, guys, I now learn that there is some other stuff that we have to actually do before we get the tomato juice or whatever it is to make the Bloody Mary. So let's go talk to Victor 7 and Victor 9? No, no not 9, because I have that. Well, maybe it is Victor 9. I'm not sure, but yeah, we need to go talk to Victor 7, see what he has, to, or see what he knows about what is actually going on here. So, what do you got for us? Talk to the head servant. We got this. I'm investigating the disappearance of Victory 11. I'd like to ask you a few questions about it, if you don't mind. Shoot. Um, how well did you know Victory 11? I knew him quite well, I guess. We shared cabins for the last couple of months. Which cabin would that be? Uh, cabin 2, the one right next to yours. I'd like to check out where you live. You want to admire, you want to happen to have the key, would you? Uh, as strange as it might sound, it, I seem to have forgotten where I put it. Maybe you can do something for me to jog my memory. Like what? God damn it, he's bribing us. <laughs> I don't want to have to do something for you so you can do something for me. No big ol' loop. It's like, God damn it. All right. There's this guy down in the kitchen, Victor84. He's just a prep chef, but for some reason he thinks he's got the right to boss my waiters around. If you can find some way to teach that guy a lesson, I might be able to... Uh, remember where I put the key. Uh, what type of lesson? How do I do that? Sure. Frankly, I don't want to know. Um, I don't want to get involved in your problems. Alright, I'll do it. We will do it so we can get farther in the game. Alright, great. Come back once you've done it and I'll give you the key. Um, did you have any enemies abroad? Uh, why do you ask? Uh, do you think somebody wanted to get rid of him? I'm just trying to be thorough. How can you make enemies on, su on a sun deck? I don't know. 
Maybe he got a bit too personal with somebody's wife. I suppose that's possible, but he always seems so professional. Um, okay, the reason you, um, to believe he wanted to leave the ship? Yeah, we'll do that one. He never mentioned that to me, and we were pretty damn close. Uh, did he seem unhappy about something? I wouldn't say that. He seemed, uh, preoccupied lately, but definitely not unhappy. Proceeding with what? I didn't know. He never told me. Um, when was the last time you saw him? Sure. Last night, around 9 or 10. Alright, so one person's saying 11 and 12, and now he's saying 9 or 10. I don't know if that's coincidence or what, but I feel like it has something to go on. <laughs> Where was that? Um, in our cabin. As I was coming back for a shift, he was freshening up. He said he had a meeting with somebody on the sun deck. Who? Um, I don't know, but he seemed pretty antsy. Got himself in a perfumed all, er, all perfumed to the gills, so naturally I thought he was seeing some skirt from the passenger section. You didn't ask? Uh, we're not allowed to consort with the passengers, but if one of us does, I tend to look the other way. What happened next? I tried to cover the, er, his morning shift, thinking he was off on cloud nine. But when he didn't show up for lunch, I started to suspect something was wrong. What did he do then? By then, his absence had been noted by the others. I didn't tell anybody about the meeting because I thought it would look bad on his permanent record. I see. Alright, I feel like maybe he's hiding something from not telling anybody that, but... Or he could just be being a good friend, I'm not quite sure. Alright, so see you later then. Well, see you too, buddy. Alright, now we'll, we'll go over here. And we're gonna see what this guy has for us. Alright, you sleepy motherfucker. It's time to wake up, boss boy. Um, I'm investigating the disappearance of Victor at Levin. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I was afraid this might happen. Uh, why do you say that? When I heard he was missing this morning, I got a bad feeling, like I knew something was wrong. Hearing that the captain's order in investigation confirms that. He, he hasn't just missed a shift anymore. He's gone. That's still to be decided. What do you know about the disappearance? What do you want to know? Um, you're gonna tell us about Victor Eleven. Yeah, do that. We'll start off with that. How well did you know him? Hardly at all. I bumped into him every once in a while, but, uh, when busting tables on the sun deck, but that's pretty much it. Uh, did he have any other problems I should know about? His wife was sunshine and the butterflies until, er, his life was all sunshine and butterflies until he went missing. Uh, if you know anything, you're more than welcome to contribute. I'm sorry, but the last guy I told went missing, so I'm a bit, er, I'm a bit reluctant confiding in others. Let me guess, you want me to do something for you first? Nothing like that. You don't gain somebody's trust by submitting yourself as their errand boy. Then how? Prove me, er, prove to, prove, what? Prove to me that you didn't th that you don't think I'm crazy. Oh my God, that took forever. <laughs> Prove to me that there's a conspiracy going abroad, and I'll re er, reconsider trusting you. Uh, Victor Eleven wanted to leave the ship, not before he knew what was going on aboard. What would that be? That's what we've been trying to figure out. Um, did he have any enemy enemies? Uh, given the circumstances, don't you think that's likely? Uh, he still might he still might come back. You're optimistic, man. You're optimistic in us is trusting. I, I don't know. God damn, this is getting hard to read for me. I have no idea why. Um, tell me about the circumstances of the disappearance. When was the last time you saw him? He came to me during a break and asked if I, er, if he would be in my cabin later that evening. Evening. He said he'd found something that he wanted to show me. What did he want to show? Uh, I don't know. He never turned up. Um, how did you go? How did you? What did you do on the night of his disappearance? I went to bed listening to the radio. Did you see or hear anything out of the ordinary? As I was deferring into sleep, I thought I heard some voices raised in the cabin. I peeked through the porthole to see what was the fuss was about, and it was just Victor Eleven and the head servant, uh, Victor Seven. They were engaged in another one of their arguments. What about? <laughs> I didn't listen, frankly. Uh, they didn't like each other, but I had to make the best of a bad situation. How did he find out he was missing? I thought it was strange that he didn't show up last night. Um, I thought I might have fallen asleep and missed him knocking, but when they pay, er, but when they paid more of the PA system this morning, I got this sinking feeling in my stomach like I knew something was wrong. Uh, did you report it? It was just a feeling and his absence has already been noted. Woo! This game was so much reading, it's worth it, but yeah, um, tell me about the other crew members in particular. Uh, no, we don't, damn it, okay, get out of here, we don't, we don't need this right now. We don't need this right now. Um, I've said too much already. Okay, so, he's already done that, alright, so, that's all. See you later then. Alright, so let's get out of here.
And we have to find a way to make him believe that we don't think he's crazy. Ah! Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode right now. It is time to go on Google and do some serious research on what the hell we have to do. I've gotten a little bit farther since the last time I actually played this game by myself when I first when I first got it. But yes, I'm going to end this right here so we can actually figure out what's going on. I hope you don't mind, but yes, like always from Michigan, have yourself a great day, stay tuned for more, and thank you so much for watching. Okay. Whoa, why are the rocks lifting up? Okay, what in the hell? What is that? 